Hello everyone, our topic for today is all about the three different types of folds. These are normal fold, second is reverse fold, and third one is strike slip fold. Let's start with the normal fold. It is the most common type of fold and it is often found along divergent plate boundaries. So I have here a fold model. Sorry, just have your uh, fault model. One of these is a hanging wall, and the other one is what you call a foot wall. Can you identify which one is the hanging wall? Well, you're right. The one on my right is what we call a hanging wall. So, in a normal fault, when the hanging wall moves downward relative to the foot wall, that is what we call a normal fault. Now let's talk about the second type of fault, which is the reverse fault or the truss fault. And it, from the word itself, it is the reverse or the opposite of the normal fault. It indicates compressive shortening of the grass. I have here once again the, our fault model. And the one on my left is the foot wall and the other one, the, the one on my right, is what we call the hanging wall. The movement, uh, in the, uh, the movement looks like this. The hanging wall moves upward relative to the foot wall. Again, the hanging wall move the hanging wall moves upward relative to the foot wall. And let's have the third type of fault which is the strike slip fault or also known as the lateral fault. This type forms when the blocks of rock on either side of a vertical or nearly vertical fracture move past each other. So there is uh, the movement is lateral or vertical. So the movement ganyan lang or ganyan. It depends on which way the movement movement goes. And now let us check your understanding. There you have it, the three different types of folds.